The active citizenship strand is unique to UCC. We've looked across the, the world to see are there other areas offering this kind of programme for and scholarships for this kind of programme. And what wonderful examples we have. People have spoken to the UN, looking for missing people and recognising that this is heartbreaking and helping. Cycling for suicide, some of the things that touch the lives of many, many people in this country. And a country that has nine tenths of its landscape under the sea. A young man that puts his life at risk going out on a lifeboat to rescue others. What wonderful examples of citizenship. I suppose it recognises students who have had an impact in their, in their communities and civic life, whether it's through volunteering work, through advocacy work, through community engagement. In terms of the, what they bring that's special and that's what we're really recognising here and what we're going to cultivate and help them develop. that each and every citizen uh, deserves to be treated with respect and dignity and to me that's what active citizenship is. If everyone just did their best then the world would be pretty nice. <laughs> I think active citizenship is kind of getting involved in the community and kind of contributing in a way that I suppose kind of leaving your mark and contributing in a way that no one else could, could you know for the better so even if it's something small as like setting up a little youth club or setting up like a mini say golf club or something like that to maybe doing something as big as going over to the United Nations. It's vital to act citizenship side of things because young people these days are not getting recognition for most of the things they do um, and it's kind of amazing how much talent is out there you wouldn't realise it. Um, I didn't realise it until I went to the open day of Quercus that there's just such a broad range of talent. Everyone has their own thing really. I think active citizenship is really important and I think it's fantastic that UCC are recognising it as well this year with a scholarship. The Cycle Against Suicide is essentially a 14 day cycle which goes around Ireland once a year and it stops in schools and colleges along the way to promote our message that it's okay not to feel okay and it's absolutely okay to ask for help. One of my main aims with the Quercus programme is to bring the Cycle Against Suicide to university level. I hope that it'll be a major success. The schools have adopted it over the past couple of years and Secondary school students now know that it is okay not to feel okay and it's absolutely okay to ask for help and I think that when we do bring it to college that it'll have the exact same response. Jacqueline's commitment to the Forget Me Not campaign has made such a difference to so many families. We lobbied the government and presented them with 12,000 signed petitions in uh, the Oireachtas to the Joint Committee for Justice, Defence and Equality. Uh, thank God they all unanimously agreed that we should have a day declared, uh, so it was fantastic. And on the actual day, it was a very memorable event. Um, it was very emotional and many tears of like sadness and uh, just relief were shed um, by even Minister Shatter himself. And just making that difference in the family's lives was definitely the greatest satisfaction that could have come out of it. I've met my um, academic mentor, so uh, she's been great so far. I mean, she's been helping with assignments and helped me kind of pinpoint, you know, what I'm doing wrong and what I should be doing. So there definitely is a good support system in UCC, and I mean, the disability support service have been amazing as well. So I mean, it's just it's just class. I mean that I'm advertising UCC, I'm advertising Corkas, and I'm advertising what an active citizen is. Uh, the Ornelay is a voluntary organisation. Um, it's a search and rescue service that started all along the coast of Ireland and the UK. Um, we all carry pagers and pretty much any time of the day or night we can get a call. And once the pagers are set off, we're tasked out into the boat as quick as you can, quick and safely as you can. Michelle Power put me in contact with um, an advanced paramedic called Paul O'Driscoll and he's been very helpful at the moment so far. He's pointing me in the right direction, setting me up with contacts and hounding people for me. But definitely without the Quercus it would have been harder to get a contact within the ambulance itself because I've tried before and it's actually very difficult to get in contact with them. So I would say to all people who are thinking about applying to UCC, 
to put themselves forward and tell us just how great they are because this is a great place to study and we want great people to be here. And so Quirk is, is, is one route that students can take to come and join us and make the best of themselves. I applied like a week from the deadline. So, you know, it's never too late. If you're involved in any way in volunteering work, advocacy work, please have a look at the, the form and please sign up. We'd love to hear from you. So what I'd say to people is definitely go for it and you never know, like, I wasn't expecting to get in, so. I'm so glad I applied for it back in sixth year because you never know where it'll take you. Never underestimate yourself.